Yo, what's up? Bringing you that MLB Dust Show 20. So we have a pretty big one right here. We got gold level one. We're going to get ourselves another 99 overall player. So what I've been doing today was grinding out showdown. I think I went from level 92 to gold level one. So we also got a few other packs along the way. We're going to open up all of those. Also kind of give my expectations for April. You know what I plan on doing throughout the month and where I, I feel like we should be at the end of the month. And then we also have some other tips to go over. So first, let's start off with the packs. That's the biggest thing right there. These are all just from grinding out showdown, leveling up the XP reward path, maybe even getting some from the program. I'm not really sure what we got from the program. I know one ball in is a habit is from the program, but these are our packs. We got two show packs, two ball in is a habit, a silver pack. I actually had four of these or five of these and I opened them and then I realized you have a chance at a gold or a diamond. So I was like, we, we might as well keep these, save these. Because I got a gold out of one of them. We have 18 team affinities. Just from grinding out the showdowns and team affinities. Getting progress right there. The big one right here is the 99 overall player. And we also have a classics diamond, a gold legacy, and a flashbacks and legends pack. So I'm actually going to open up the team affinities first. Because I want to see if we end up getting lucky and get anything good out of those. If we pack another diamond, that would be pretty dope. More diamonds, more progress for the no money spent. Don't expect it this time, given that the last time we opened up packs, we got two diamonds. So I'm not, I'm not expecting much. But if we can get something, that would be pretty nice. We have our silver right here. And it's Chris Martin, so we'll take that. Let's go with the show packs. And the show pack, we get a bronze player, kind of expected. Once again, whatever we get from these packs, we're going to sell everything. So we're at 186. I was actually at 250 yesterday. And if you guys saw the last, the last no money spent, all those packs we opened, we sold our duplicates and we got up to 250K. So I'll talk about where my stubs went from there. But on to these 18 packs. Silver right there. If we get silvers, that's good because those are just extra stubs. It's better than getting a bronze player. I don't think the odds are different. 1 in 3 for a silver, 1 in 10 for a gold, 1 in 50 for a diamond. So I don't think those odds are different than regular packs. I would have to double check for like silvers and golds and stuff like that. I know the golds isn't different, but maybe silvers are increased. I actually have no idea. But, woo! We got a diamond, baby! We got a diamond. Let's see who it may be. Yo, our diamond luck been hitting lately. National League looks like a hitter center fielder. Ketel Marte? Is this Ketel Marte? Okay. Okay. We can actually finish up the Diamondbacks collection because I only needed that diamond player, I believe. Yo, we've we been hitting lately. We've been hitting. This is why we grind. Every pack we've gotten so far has been a free pack. So 25K player right there. That's a lot of progress right there. So I wasn't expecting a diamond today. We end up getting another one. That is a good sign. I don't want another one. I mean, I would love to have another one, but we know it's not going to happen, right? And how many packs? 12 packs. So yeah, actually the team affinity grind, it was worth it. You know, we, we've been grinding hard these last couple of days trying to get gold one especially, but I want to get these showdowns done. I want to have all 30 of them done. That's probably going to be done by Sunday. You know, 100% by Sunday, we've been making some progress. I think I'm halfway done. I'll show you guys my progress and all that. But eight more of these packs. Can we hit good again? I didn't see what that first one was. Nope. So, yeah, we'll just we'll keep going. We'll keep going right here. Another bronze right there. We are fine with that. Six more of the team affinities and another bronze. So we're fine with that. You know, all of these are going to be duplicates. And I'm pretty sure we can get back up to like 200k selling everything we get today so that's not a bad sign right there we got a lot of bronze lately at least give us some silvers if you're not if you're not gonna give us a gold or a diamond give us some silvers too many bronze way too many bronze right there not really what we wanted to see there's a silver right there dickerson but last team affinity pack i mean we already did well we already did well now the two balling is a habit packs best chance at a diamond i guess but i don't think i've ever hit a diamond out of these we get a gold, Chris Paddock. I mean, he goes for, for a little. You know, he goes for a 1,000. That's fine with us. Second, ball into the habit pack. And another gold, Zach Grinky. Pretty pricey right there. He goes for 3K. So, yeah, we definitely should be back up to around 200K. So, now, gold legacy pack. 
Um, first time around, I took Aaron Judge. I'm going to take Griffey. Griffey is my favorite player of all time. Judge is my current favorite player. Don't really care about Bryce Harper, but obviously he's a good player and a good card. So if you want to pick him up, you guys can. We will just take this right here. And we got Griffey. So I don't know. We're, we're pretty much just wait, waiting for like the good Griffey, right? Choose one batter. So out of these options right here, um, it doesn't really matter who we take, I guess. Because we have all of these for like collection purposes. We have them. I don't think I care wh who I take, actually. Miggy looks pretty nice. Lou, we already have. Carew is a good contact hitter. Gary Carter, if you need a catcher. I don't really care. I'm going to just take Gary Carter. Why not? So now we have the Classics Diamond Choice Pack. So this was, I think at level 80 we got this. So we've been holding off on this. So we have either Victor Robles. We took Charlie Morton last time. Delberto Mondesi. We got Alex Reyes, who's been really nice. I definitely recommend going after Alex Reyes. I think he's a really solid card if you need one. We have a .79 ERA with him, and he's 4-0 with 23 strikeouts and 22 innings. So he's been really solid as a starting pitcher. Then we got Gary Sanchez, who has the great power numbers. So it's kind of tough because Mondesi, I don't, like, Mondesi is a really good card. I just don't know if he's going to be used because we're, we're probably taking a shortstop or second base right now. So because of that in the outfield is pretty easy to kind of stack up. I think I'm going to go with Gary Sanchez. I'm going to double down on him. I already have the gold one and the gold one's been really good. So this diamond one, even better, even better. So we got that 87 Gary Sanchez. Now we have the big pack right here. I didn't even think about this pack coming into it, but we took Reggie Jackson the first time around. So we have Ryan Sandberg, Barry Larkin, Mini Minoso, or Buster Posey, another 99 overall player. So one thing, I just took Gary Sanchez. Obviously, I wasn't going to take Buster Posey. So Buster Posey is probably going to be the last one I pick. I think Mini Minoso is also going to be one of the last ones I pick. You know, when you get diamond level 100, you get the last two. I think it's going to be these two right here. So either Barry Larkin or Ryan Sandberg. Actually, a pretty tough choice. Sandberg has 104 contact versus righties, 113 versus lefties, 86 power versus righties, and 83 versus lefties, 104 vision. And I think he has diamond tier defense and 80 speed. So overall, he's a really nice looking card. Then we got Barry Larkin, 113 contact versus righties, 93 versus lefties, 62 power versus righties, and 104 versus lefties, 108 vision. Also has diamond tier defense and 86 speed. So... The difference for me, let's see, he has 108 vision and he has 104. Vision kind of matters for like Hall of Fame and Legend, obviously. So, mm, it's a tough choice. Sandberg, I think, is the better overall player. Larkin got the speed. He has some contact, a little bit more contact and power versus lefties. But I think just because Sandberg has both power numbers versus 80 and then he has also diamond tier defense Another thing is he can play second and third. So he can play two positions. Larkin can only play short. I think my shortstop right now is Glaber Torres. I'm fine rocking with him for a little bit. So I think I'm going to take Ryan Sandberg. And I think that's still a pretty good choice. So we'll take Sandberg right there. Another 99 added to the squad. I'll show you guys my squad real quick. And then tell you guys what I've been doing the last couple days. So, you know, now Sandberg probably comes to second or even third. And this is our main squad right now. Um, not bad right now. You know, we're definitely making some more progress. I'll show you guys the bench really quick because we got a lot of players. So we got the Sandberg. I did pick up Duke Snyder, Todd Helton, also Roy Oswald. That's where, you know, the the 80K, 90K stubs I spent went. And then we got, we got a lot of progress with Face of the Franchise and Team Affinity. So we got a lot of cards right there and a lot of debuts coming. So these are all players. That we'll see in the next few days. I got to pick it up with the debuts. You know, we got to do a lot of uh, diamonds that got to show out there. And then pitching-wise, Newhauser, Oswald, Snell. So our lineups, our team's looking pretty good. Our team is looking pretty good right now, being no money spent. So let me go over a few things on what we've been doing. So first thing is the collections. Let's start off with this. And this is, I think, a pretty big one right here. So it's not there. It's right here. The first inning voucher. Or the first inning program for the second inning voucher. This is pretty big. So I bought all three of these players. It was around 20, 27, 28K for each player. 
which I think I spent a total of like 85K. You get 15K back, which puts it at around 70K, 5K XP. Now, this is what I think is one of the biggest stub making methods if you can do this very quickly. So this is a very important tip. And this is why I ended up buying these three bosses. So if you buy these three bosses, when the second inning program comes out, you already start off with plus 75 program stars or program points, whatever you want to call them. Why is that important? Because if you can get that second inning program done within the first two, three days, you're going to make a bank. So my goal is to get that second inning program done, which it comes out on April 10th. When that program comes out, I expect to get it done within the first, we'll say 24 hours. You know, I definitely want to get it done within the first day. I expect to make 150K, maybe more in stubs back. So spending 90K on these three and getting 150 back, that's profit. So that's why I end up doing that. And that's why I always have stubs in reserve too. You know, you guys have seen me play and you've seen me progress so far with the no money spent. I just keep my stubs. And this is kind of one reason because I always want to have stubs when I make moves like this. And I always knew I was going to make this move and get these three players. So we were just stacking up on stubs and doing that. So that is one very important thing that you want to end up getting these three. If you know you can get that program done, probably by Sunday. It's going to drop on Friday. If you can get it done on Sunday, maybe Monday, you should make an easy 100, 150K. It also depends who the program boss is, but the faster you get it done, the more you get rewarded with stubs in return. So that's one big thing right there. The other thing is, I guess, is the prospects. So not the prospects. The other thing is face of the franchise. So like I said, this is what I've been grinding. We got 17 of them so far. So we have we have most of them. You know, we're halfway there. By Sunday, I expect to have all of these completed. This is the list of players I have. You can just see the highlighted versions of them. So I'm not going to go over them, but we, we got a good amount. So these are where... We're pretty much building our team up and just using these as our, our base team right now. You know, this is the best way I think to, to build your team is get these face of the franchise cards. So let me go right into the showdown really quick. Kind of explain what I've been doing lately with showdown just to try to guarantee my success. So I was skipping right to the end. Sometimes I do it. Sometimes I don't. But the percentage of me doing it weren't that high. So I decided to do the moments that are very easy so if it takes me like an inning to do if i feel like i can do the moment in like two three minutes i end up doing it if it's a multiple inning type of moment i just skip it i go in i quit out and i just move on to the next one so i do these i do the first showdown get some extra xp right there you get around 2000 that's pretty good and then normally you get some extra xp for playing the game which is not bad and then i'll just pick which moments i like I don't do the second showdown moment. At this point, I'm just going to skip to the end. So this is what I was working on and I hit goal level one. So the goal for today was to hit goal level one and then make the no money spent video. That's why I just quit out on this, but I didn't quit out. I just stopped doing it. So later today, I'll finish this off, but I'll go into the next game, 515, 20 outs. We need 11 runs and 20 outs. Definitely doable. The AL Central one is tough though, because you never know what pitcher you're going to face because there's like four different pitchers that they put on the mound whereas every other division it's always the same pitcher so that's just one thing right there but xp wise you definitely get a lot you get 5k if you beat the final one and you get like another three four just for playing you can walk out from anywhere to three to nine k for doing the last showdown and I, the reason i say three is in case you fail it but still you get a lot of xp for doing this if you need to do all of these, do all of them. You know, you get a lot of XP along the way. It's definitely worth it. You're leveling up. Obviously, if you can skip right to the end, you save time. But sometimes doing that, you don't end up saving time because you end up failing and having to start over. So we've been playing it a little bit more safer and doing the easy moments and then skipping right to the end when I feel like my team's good. We got good perks and we can move on and I feel comfortable in beating that. So showdowns, what we've been working on. Let me actually look at the collections really quick. So because we pulled Chris Sale the other day, I did finish up the Red Sox collection. That was pretty nice. And yeah, actually that was our only player we needed. It could tell Marte. So we might as well just collect the Diamondbacks and get that collection done. And we got Luis Gonzalez. So that's not bad at all. So right now, um, our progress is pretty good. I think we need, let me see, 5, 10, 15, 16. We need 16 more team collections 
pretty much all the diamond players, you know, actually, yeah, every team here has a diamond player. So we pretty much just need all the diamond players, a few golds from each team. I'm still going to save my stubs, try to rack it up a little bit. So my expectations for April, I guess there's two goals. The first goal, let me go back to collections. The first goal is to complete a league. So we need around 600K to do the American League or the National League. I think they're both pretty much the same price. But I want Biggio or Gary Sheffield by the end of the month. The ultimate goal is to get both of them and get Mickey Mantle. So in order for me to do that, I need around 1.2 million in stubs. Maybe a little less now because we got Ketel Marte. But if we can keep packing diamonds, that's definitely going to help. But I want to have Mickey Mantle or at least one of these guys by the end of the month. That's the ultimate goal. So how do I plan on doing that? Right now, I see an easy 300 to 400K coming in easy just by playing the game. So let me go over that really quick. One thing is the second inning program. You know, the program definitely gives you a lot of a lot of stuff, especially for me, who's going to try getting that program done as soon as possible. I expect 150, maybe 200K from that. You also get a lot of packs along the way. So, you know, we'll see if we can keep getting lucky with the packs pretty much. And going back to this first inning program, we're at 827. I really want to get to 1,000 for this one. We have eight days to do it. I think it's possible, but... They haven't really added any new showdowns, missions, conquests, stuff like that. So it's kind of difficult. We'll be pushing it, but if it, if it gets close, I will grind it out to make sure we get these 30 packs because, you know, we've been grinding out events. We got rewarded with a diamond. The showdown, we got rewarded with a diamond. I was doing the showdowns either way, but still, we got rewarded with a diamond just by grinding it out. So these free packs, we want to definitely go out and get that, but... Like I said, with the program, I expect 150, 200K. The other form of incoming stubs is probably rank season. So uh, we're pretty close. We're not really close, actually. We're at 749. We've been doing pretty good in ranked. I think we're 21, 22, and 2, something like that. But once we hit that World Series reward, we will sell it. That right now is a 60. It's probably going to be like 50K by the time we get there. But a 50K reward, that's not bad. And then the other form is the XP reward path. You know, by this whole month, I definitely expect to be at least in the diamond tier. You know, I don't think it's going to take me a whole month to get to gold level 99 or 100. So we're going to make a lot of progress. We have some diamond equipment stuff that we can get a lot of stubs from. You know, some extra diamond players and some stubs. So throughout this whole thing, there's probably an easy 50k in stubs that you might get through the next 100 levels. But I do expect to get into the diamond tier and messing around with this also. So a lot of stubs coming in from XP reward path. The rest is pretty much just getting lucky. The more we play, the more free packs that we're going to get, whether it's from events or just some more team affinities and XP reward path pretty much. And the programs too. So the more we play, the more of those types of free packs we can get. If we get lucky with some more diamonds, that's always a plus. If not, we might mess around and play some more battle royale because the first battle royale run we did, we did get a nine win diamond. So we're going to have to play some more battle royale, I feel like, to try to accelerate the process and hopefully we can get to nine wins or at least 12 wins in some of the runs in a full month of just grinding out battle royale i'll definitely get at least nine wins every once in a while so that might be one thing we try to grind but the focus for this week finishing up showdown after that we might still do showdown just for some xp but if not the late night grind is going to be battle royale and we'll try to make some stubs that way so that's pretty much going to do it for this one. We've got goal level one. We got ourselves another 99 overall player. We did pull another diamond player too. So I think in total we added, what, three new diamond players in Sandberg, Sanchez, and Marte. Not bad at all. And we're just going to keep moving. So let me know what you guys thought. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Drop a like on the video. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out.